Hi, my name is Dr. Nishant Yagnik. I'm head of neurosurgery at Manipal Hospital, Gurgaon. And today I'll be talking to you about complex spine surgery that I do at our unit. And I start with a patient we've operated just this week. So this is a young boy, 22 year old, who was sleeping in the back of his uh, car when his friend was driving. The next thing he remembers, he was uh, lying down in our emergency. He regained consciousness. His head was fine. There was no injury to the brain or to the skull. In fact, his hands were moving well with some tingling and numbness, but he had a severe pain in his neck. And when we scanned his neck, we found a very dangerous and rare fracture of what is called the C2 vertebra. Now, this is the part of the spine that actually connects the head with the rest of the spine. And as you can imagine, it is a very critical segment. The nerves that pass through this, if they get affected, then the patient would be paralyzed for his entire life. He would be on ventilator and he'd possibly not make it. In fact, patients with this kind of uh, fracture often don't survive. By the time they come to us, they're already in such a poor state that they're not amenable for surgery. But here we had a gentleman who was so lucky that he neither had nervous damage nor did he have vascular damage which can cause, uh, you know, stroke in the brain. And we, uh, we treated it with an internal fixation called occipital cervical fusion, which is a surgery done only in very few centers by very few surgeons. Uh, it is a very risky area. It is a very high risk surgery. Uh, but uh, I'm glad to say that the patient came in with his hands and legs moving and went out walking and talking and doing everything normally within three days of his uh, admission. Now, coming to complex spine surgery. There are, uh, the, when people think of spine surgery, they only think of disc disease or they only think of, you know, sciatica or uh, cervical. But uh, spine is a lot more complex than that. Although most people do suffer from cervical or uh, sciatica, which uh, I operate on a routine basis, a lot of patients have internal nervous anomalies. And this includes tumors, this includes something called a syrinx, which is an accumulation of water in the center of the spinal cord, uh, and also some congenital problems, children who are born uh, with uh, defective spines and with, uh, you know, a swelling coming out of the spine. Again, we are a specialized center in treating such uh, spinal anomalies, which are usually are not treated and patients go from place to place, you know, because uh, the surgeons are not confident or they don't have the right equipment uh, or the right push or the right setup to be able to manage these kind of anomalies because it requires a very good ICU setup. It, it requires very strong and uh, diagnostic, you know, uh, position uh, in the team. It requires an able surgeon. It also requires excellent post-op care and intraop, uh, intraoperative monitoring. So uh, with the help of these equipments, we have now been able to provide in our area and in fact to an extended part of Haryana that drains through this area this kind of treatment at a cost that is very affordable to them. Uh, this in fact I have patients who have been uh, you know roaming around with these problems through many many doctors in many many towns. Many of them have been told that you know you can't be operated. Uh, many of them have been told that only government hospitals will operate you where they remain in their wait list for three months four months. Uh, but we have managed to do it uh, within uh, the right amount of time before it's too late for such patients. So this includes complex spinal fixations such as the C2 fracture, C1, C2 fracture, atlanto axial dislocations where the entire neck is dislocated. Uh, in fact, it's a process that starts from birth but can present at any age. Complex spinal tumors, which means that we have to enter the spine then we have to enter the sac that contains the nerves and remove that tumor from all the nerves that surround it, uh, including uh, childhood spinal anomalies such as spina bifida, which means that children are born with a swelling in the lower part of their sp uh, spine. And if it's not done carefully, then infection can go from this to the brain causing life-threatening complications. So these are just some of the complex spine cases that we do at the neurosurgery department in Manipal Hospital, Gurgaon. We also do the routine cervical and the, uh, you know, the spinal fixations. Uh, but uh, obviously, we are talking about things that are not done at other centers that we do uh, with great specialty. And these few are four of them. And just this week, we had that wonderful success of seeing a young man's life saved from what is considered a curse for your entire life. Uh, by a complex spinal fixation that we achieved 
uh, and we're very happy and proud about. So if, uh, God forbid, you have a spinal problem, especially something that is cervical or lumbar, what is very complex, that is considered a fairly complex work, then definitely uh, come to our center. We have one of the best centers for this kind of work at uh, advanced but affordable cost. Thank you.